In this section, Introducing Functions, we'll be able to investigate and analyze functions and their characteristics, including determining whether a relation is a function. Let's begin with some important vocabulary. A relation is any pairing of a set of inputs, can also be called the domain, with a set of outputs, which can be called the range. Again, this is any pairing. Versus a function is a pairing of a member of the inputs or domain with exactly one member of the outputs or the range. So it's a more specific type of pairing. Now domain means the set of all inputs of a function. We can call it the x values, the independent variable, or the cause in a situation. The range is the set of all outputs of a function. It can be called the y values or the dependent variable. In a situation, will be the effect. We can determine if a relation is a function by looking at a mapping diagram, a set of ordered pairs, a table, and a graph. Let's begin by looking at a mapping diagram. This shows us the x values and what y values they are mapped to, or the domain values and the range values that they are mapped to. Again, x is for the domain and y is for the range. So what we see here is a function. This is an example of a pairing of one value of x with exactly one value of y. 3 goes only to negative 2. 0 goes only to 0. 6 goes only to 5. 8 goes only to 5. And negative 1 goes only to 4. There's exactly one y value with each x value. In example B, this one is not a function. Let's see why not. We have the x or the domain and the y or the range. 6 goes only to negative 2, negative 5 goes only to 4, 8 goes only to 0, but 3, here's the problem, 3 goes to negative 2 and it goes to 1. 3 goes to two different places. So because 3 goes to two different places, this is not a function. 3 can't go, an x value can't go to more than one place. This 3 goes to two different y values instead of exactly one. If we look at it as ordered pairs or coordinate points, we'll use the mapping diagram from above, this picture, and list the coordinate points. These are some important words to know as well. Coordinate points is the same thing as ordered pairs. So in example A, we're going to start listing 3 goes to negative 2, so 3 comma negative 2. Next, 0 goes to 0. 6 goes to 5. 8 goes to 5. And negative 1 goes to 4. So notice each x value is going to exactly one y value. In the example b, which is not a function, let's see what those ordered pairs look like. 6 goes to negative 2. Negative 5 goes to 4. 
8 goes to 0. 3 goes to negative 2. And 3 also goes to 1. So in this example, each x value is different. In this x value, each x value is different until I get to the 3. See how I see the 3 twice? That means this is not a function. Not a function. This one, I have a different x value in every ordered pair. Each of these are different. So this one is a function. Again, looking at ordered pairs, when I see the x values repeat, not a function because the x values repeat. That's the easiest way to see it in the ordered pairs. Let's look at how to convert it to a table and to tell when it's a function or not a function. Again, here's our mapping diagram from above. We're going to take these values and put them in a table. Now, I already took the x values and I ordered them from small to big, least to greatest. Negative 1 goes with 4. Negative 1, 4. 0 is next. 0 goes with 0. 0, 0. 3 is next. 3 goes with negative 2. 6 is next. 6 goes with 5. 8 goes with 5. So notice how each of these x values are different. They're all different x values. This one is a function. Just like when we did the mapping diagram and saw that this one is a function. To example B, let's list the x values from smallest to biggest. So we look at the x values. Smallest is negative 5. I'll put that first. Next comes 3, and then 6, and then 8. Then we go to the y. Remember, the second column is the y. Negative 5 goes to 4. 3 goes to, well, wait a minute. Where does 3 go? 3 goes to negative 2 and to 1. So I'm going to have to fix my table. 3 can go to negative 2, and 3 can go to 1. 6 goes to negative 2, and 8 goes to 0. See how I have 3 happening twice for the x's? That can't happen, so that is not a function because the x repeats. I see the same number in the x more than once. Not a function. A function is like a machine. For every input or x value that goes into the machine, there can be only one output or y value. For example, this machine takes every element of the domain, the input, multiplies it by 2, and produces exactly one y value. Let's see what happens to numbers that go into the, this machine. 1 goes in, gets multiplied by 2, and only 2 can come out. 7 goes in, gets multiplied by 2, and only 14 can come out. Negative 3 goes in, gets multiplied by 2, only negative 6 can come out. Let's take a look at it graphically. These are the same ordered pairs that we saw on the other side. I plotted them. Let's go look at the other example. Remember, the first example is a function. The second example is not a function. Let's see what these points look like. I'm going to plot each point. Remember, the first one is the x. The second one is the y. Negative 5, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
one, two, three, four. Three, one, three, two, six, negative two, and eight, zero. Let's notice the difference in these two pictures. In the first picture, every X value went to one place. At the X value zero, there was one place. At this X value, one place. At this X value, one place. Over here, at this X value of three, there were two different points. If I draw a vertical line through this, that's a quick test to tell I have not a function because the X value goes with two different points. See how the X is repeating? When X is repeating, it's not a function. It's going to two different Y values. So this one, we can say it's not a function and we can write that this fails the vertical line test. The vertical line test because for one X value I see two points. At this X value three I see two different values. The X is repeating. Let's look at a couple of examples that are not ordered pairs. This one, example C, is an example of a function. Example D is an example of not a function. Why? Because I can find a place here where I can draw a vertical line and it hits two points on the graph. The X is repeating. This one fails the vertical line test. Over here, anywhere I draw a vertical line, it only crosses one point. Again, crosses one point. Again, crosses one point. I can't find anywhere to draw a line like this one and it crosses two points. They only cross one point. So this one passes the vertical line test. That's a quick way to tell that we have a function. Take a couple of minutes to do a summary. In your own words, describe how to tell if a relation is a function. See you in class.